GCSE Biology Syllabus Statement 326. We're looking at the process of meiosis. We're looking at how this halves the chromosome number and how it generates gen uh, genetically different haploid gametes. If we begin here with this cell, this cell is the diploid cell. Sometimes you, we use the symbol 2N and here within the cell would be the nucleus. We're not going to draw the nuclear membrane, we're just going to draw what's inside the cell for chromosomes. And we start off with a pair of chromosomes. And so our diploid number here is 2. And for the purposes of this demonstration, here we will have the allele big A, and here we'll have the allele little a. During the cell cycle, there's a phase known as the interphase. And it's during this interphase that we have DNA replication. This results in our cell here looking like this. So we'd still have uh, this chromosome here, but it would have DNA replicated. So we now have two sister chromatids and we have big A and big A. We have identical copies of the chromosomes and these are known as a pair of sister chromatids. Each chromosome here has replicated and they're held together. This is equally the case for this chromosome here, which will DNA replicate. So we have little a, little a, two copies, another pair of sister chromatids. So up here, we had the pair of chromosomes known as the homologous pair and they were carrying the alleles for each gene in this case big A and little a they've DNA replicated so that we now have this set up we now enter the first phase of meiosis which we could call meiosis 1 and in meiosis 1 the feature of this is the cell will divide and separate the homologous chromosomes. So that we have over here big A, big A, and over here this cell would have little a, little a. So this key feature here is the separation of the homologous pair or if we wish to think of it in terms of our genetics then we have the separation of the alleles of a gene. The next stage involves each of these cells dividing once more and we can call this meiosis 2 and here we have the separation of the chromatids this is equally true for this cell here so that now this cell has divided its chromatids so this one has big A, this is big A, this is little a, this is little a. And the feature of the second phase of meiosis is the separation of the chromatids. Notice that each of these cells here, and there are four of them, that they only have one chromosome. So this N equals one. Each of these cells is haploid 
it has half the chromosome set and these cells would be known as gametes. In a male these cells would be sperm cells and in a female these cells would be egg cells. They have half the chromosomes with half the alleles.